Hello there kids. Hi. My name is Teacher Brian. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, you are most welcome. Uh, good morning or good evening depending on where you are today. So welcome, welcome so much. We are going to say a word of, I'm going to say a word of prayer. So before we do so much and uh, let us believe and pray. Dear Lord, we come before you. We thank you. Thank you for this day, the Lord, you have given unto us. We bless and honor your name. We pray the Lord, you may guide us all through this class, Almighty Father. We pray the Lord shall grant us wisdom and understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless and honor your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. Amen and amen. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for uh, sharing, for subscribing. Thank you for liking our YouTube ch uh, page. Make sure you have done that if you have not, and make sure you share this to many others so that they can be blessed. Uh, to the parents, thank you so much for also allowing your children to use your gadgets uh, to view or to watch us today. Thank you so, so much. God bless you. And to the church leadership, thank you for the opportunity and the chance for allowing me to use this platform uh, to reach many, many, many kids out there and many people uh, thank you so much. God bless you too. So uh, right about now, last time I had given a question and uh, this was the question. Uh, we died be uh, because we lied about how much money we had given to the church. Who are we? So this was your response. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Rodney. Here's the answer to the question for this week. So the question is, we died because we had lied about the money we were given to the church. Who are we? Well, my answer is I consider us greedy because we don't want to give our money to God and we just want to keep our money to ourselves. Amen. Hello, thank you so much for sending in your answers. Uh, God bless you. I hope that we will continue with the same, same spirit. So uh, we are going to continue uh, from where we left last time. And uh, we are going to read from the book of Acts, still chapter 15, and from verse 35. And uh, I will read. Paul also and Barnabas continued, continued in Antioch, teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. And some days after Paul said unto Barnabas, let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached in, uh, the word of the Lord and see how they do. And Barnabas determined to take with them John, whose surname was Mark. But Paul thought not good to take him with them, who departed from, uh, from them from Pamphylia and went not with them to the work. And, then, and the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from the other. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed unto Cyprus. And Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of God. And he went through Syria and uh, uh, Cilicia, confirming the churches. Uh, then, of uh, chapter 16, it says, uh, Then came he to Derbe and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there, named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewess, and believed, but his father was a Greek, which was well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. Him would Paul have to go forth with him, and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in those quarters, for they knew all uh, all that his father was a Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them to uh, the degrees for, for to keep that were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem. And so were the churches established in the faith and increased in number daily. Uh, this is uh, the story of, still the story of Paul and uh, Barnabas and now we, uh, we can see a new character introduced. Uh, <clears throat> and that is, the, that is Silas and uh, there is John, who was also called Mark. So in, uh, in this context, or this part of the Bible, this, 
uh, chapters and the verses that we have just read, uh, Paul and uh, Barnabas now plan to revisit the churches that they had uh, they had formed in through the mission that they had uh, they had gone all those days, and uh, now we can see we we had seen them they had returned back to their home where now they had came from. But this time around now they wanted to revisit those churches and know how they were actually doing. So we can see uh, Paul and uh, Barnabas having a slight argument because of uh, John, who is also called Mark. Barnabas wants to introduce, they, they, he wants uh, John or Mark. Let, let, let's call him John. Uh, for this context instead of calling him the, both the names. Now, he wants John to follow them. They want, he wants uh, John to go with them to this mission, but uh, Paul does not want because he wants. I don't know if we can call it betraying them or leaving them behind, but he had left them behind. So Paul did not want uh, to go with John for that reason. So. They had an argument and they had to go their separate ways. Uh, the same place, but in a, Paul, uh, Paul decided to take Silas with him. And uh, John decided, I mean, Barnabas decided to go with uh, John. So we can see these two characters introduced. And uh, that is how it happened. So they went to... Uh, in verse 1 of chapter 16, it says, that then, came to, then came he to Derbe and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewish, and believed, but his father was a Greek. So Timothy is now first introduced here. He was a, now he was like a spiritual son now. Timothy was a, now as a spiritual son of Paul, and uh, he was now, he's first introduced in this, this, this chapter. So they went to, this, to those cities and uh, they went there. They were so happy to see that the churches uh, were established there and uh, the church kept on growing. There was a lot of increase. People were growing. I mean, so many people were getting uh, to be converted. And uh, we can see the fruits of Paul and Barnabas, which... Uh, which was so evident. We can see it. It, it is so evident uh, to see how the churches were growing, to see how people were flooding now, and how people wanted to be saved. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> there are a few things that we, uh, we, we can learn from this story. So, one of the things that uh, we can learn is that uh, if we start a mission, if, we st if you begin something, Carry it to the end. Don't stop. Otherwise, it might bring uh, trust issues. Uh, what you have bega begun to the end. Don't leave it half. Now you can see uh, John. John had an issue with... Paul had an issue with John because John, John had not... He was with them when they had started the mission. Paul I mean, John decided to just... Uh, he left Paul and uh, Barnabas to continue with the mission, yet he was part of them. So Paul did not want that kind of, uh, of accompaniment or a person who would leave him behind while they are still doing the mission. You can imagine what Paul went through all that time that he was uh, preaching the good news uh, to those uh, people, or uh, the new churches that he formed. Uh, yeah, so... <coughs> He didn't want uh, John to go with them for that uh, for that for that reason. Yeah. So, if you are starting something with others, and if it is gospel or if it's mission or if it's any project that you have you have begin, make sure you don't stick into it and just do it. You know, for the glory of God, and you will enjoy the benefits uh, the benefits or the fruits of being uh, patient and. Uh, a, a consistent person in the name of Jesus. So, like, like uh, Paul and like Barnabas, just stick to uh, stick to what you have agreed, so that uh, you can stick to what you have agreed, 
so that you can go far in the name of Jesus. Yeah, so uh, another thing that we can learn is that uh, all that you do, if you do it with all your heart and by the help of God, you will surely enjoy the fruits. You can see how the church was growing. Actually, the Bible says uh, in verse 5, And so were the churches established in faith and increased in number daily. The church would not have been established if Paul did not go for that mission. So let us keep on, uh, let, us, let us not be discouraged. Let us stand uh, so that our, we can see the fruits at the end of the day. Okay? There is a lot of joy when you see that you have been able to uh, bring people into Christ. Like Paul, Paul was, jo uh, was so glad to see the young man named Timothy. For the, uh, Timothy was probably saved the first time that Paul had visited uh, Lystra. So he, wa he had been faithfully serving the Lord uh, there. So that made Paul be happy. Paul was very, very impressed with what Timothy uh, was really, really doing. Uh, so let us have that plan. Uh, of leading people to Christ. I know we have said this, I have said this many times, but when you are in school, you can use that opportunity. Just take some little time and tell somebody about Jesus. Every day you can, that friend that uh, seems to be hard to, to listen or they are just uh, violent, you can just talk to them and tell them about Jesus. If your friend is depressed and having a hard time, tell them about Jesus. And uh, Jesus is able to save them help them and uh, change them in the name of Jesus Christ, just like Timothy, and uh, they will do great for the Lord. And if you are able to convert one or to, uh, to help one to be saved, then that one will go and become, a, uh, he will be a disciple or she, and uh, they will preach the good news to others. They might reach so many that you couldn't have reached you alone. So when you are I evangelize to a few, one, two, three. Those three will go at once and again evangelize to others. And you'll find that you have been able to reach so many. Uh, than you, uh, they, they will be able to reach so many, or you'll be able to reach so many through these uh, few that you reached in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us have that desire and uh, the heart of reaching many others. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, I want to pose another question to you as I wind up. And uh, this will be the question. This is the question. I have been called the first Christian martyr. Who am I? I have been called the first Christian martyr. Who am I? Who was this first Christian martyr? Who was murdered because of his service? I mean, uh, his preaching and... Uh, his walk in Christ. Who is this person? So I hope you know the answer. Uh, if it is uh, John, you write John. If it is Stephen, you write Stephen. If it is uh, Paul, you write Paul. Uh, if it is Jesus, you write Jesus. So who is this first Christian martyr? Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And uh, I hope that you have shared this message to others. Make sure you record that and uh, send it to the WhatsApp number that is just right here on my right, uh, on my left. Oh, it's, on, it's your right or left? Yeah, it's somewhere, the, it's somewhere here. So make sure that you record that video and send it to the number that is on the screen. And uh, we will be able to showcase it in the next lesson. So I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to close with a word of prayer. We are hoping that Josh will be back in the next lesson. So don't miss uh, this. So let us believe and pray. Dear Lord, we thank you. Thank you for, again, this wonderful class that we have had with these children and uh, everyone that is watching um, uh, this show today. I pray the talking of glory. You may strengthen us. You may be with us. Help us to continue witnessing Help us to be a wit uh, witnesses to many others. Give us that courage. Uh, and also help us to always revisit those who we preached to earlier in the name of Jesus Christ and gave their lives. Give us the strength to help them continue serving you in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your grace. We pray for your guidance in each and everything that we do 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are great and wonderful, and we will bless and honor your name, for there is no other God like you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Amen and amen and amen. So, until next time, see you. Bye. We hope you've enjoyed and loved that session. See you again next week. But remember to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.